Welcome, welcome to Volatility 411 for Equity Armor Investments. I am Joe Tige. We're having a rally today in the market as we finally got some good news. ADP came in better than expected, only lost 2 million jobs. Can you believe it? That's better than expected. But the market was expecting 8 million plus. So that is uh, an incredible beat and leaving a lot of uh, people scratching their heads how the ADP was that far off. Maybe it's a sign that uh, the recovery is happening quicker than people expected. Now, this is all, of course, happening in the middle of all this other bad news out there. Of course, there's the uh, there's the protesting, the civil unrest out there, a lot of ugly images on TV. Just need, need everyone to remember the market and the economy, the market and America, they are not the same thing. The market is just supply and demand, bids and offers on equities, uh, and it really doesn't care what the economy is doing, just cares if there's there's more buyers that'll go higher. If there's more sellers that'll go let lower. That's that simple. Now that said, the one thing that is not decoupled is the VIX itself. The VIX is at 26 plus right now, uh, and Nasdaq's only 2% off its all-time high. The S&P is closing in on its all-time high. So the fact that the VIX is still at 26 in spite of this big rally is a sign that uh, there is not complacency. There is that worry if the market psychology shifts again, we're going to have a steep fall off again. So uh, I want everyone to remember that, yes, the market's not the economy, but also uh, some of the risks out there are being expressed in the VIX and people are putting protection on out there. Case in point, the SKU, 136 right now. Uh, that's a higher end of the range for the skew. People are paying a higher premium for the downside puts. For Equity Armor Investments, I am Joe Teague.